Good day, fellow YouTubers and coders. Uh, today I'd like to talk about something, an issue that I ran into uh, the other day that kind of threw me for a loop and I couldn't figure it out. I was doing some WPF work inside a writer and writer's WPF is okay, but I gotta admit Visual Studio is a little better because you can move things around on the screen and make adjustments on the fly in your form designer. And so I was like, well, let me go ahead and open it up in Visual Studio and make those changes. And this is what happened. Before we begin, please smash that like button and ring that bell for future notifications on the content. Now moving into Visual Studio, uh, working on my writer project, I had writer on a different computer. So I pushed it up to GitHub and I cloned a file from GitHub. And when I opened up GitHub, GitHub will essentially, when you pull it down, it opens it up as a folder instead of a solution file. And I didn't realize that at first. And what I discovered is when you open something in a folder and you want to add a new file, you get a rather limited selection on your right click menu. Uh, looking at this, you don't even see any WPF files or anything. You just, you can see a XAML file, sure, you can convert it, you see an HTML page, but you don't see what you're generally used to getting. And if you go through the rest of them, it's, it's still all the same garbage. And I struggled with this and I kept going, why is this? I had it all in Writer, but I don't have it here. And what I discovered is, let me go ahead and close this folder. And I'll go ahead and open up a solution within the folder I just got from GitHub. Ah, now it's all here. So I got this. And now what I can do is I can come over here and I can add a new item. And now I'm getting all the stuff that I'm looking for. I got my WPF pages, my uh, page windows and other items. Now, something else that is not in the description that I wanted to mention is also when you open up a folder, let me just open up a folder here, the same folder. When you go over here and you click on, whoops, that's not my XAML. When you click on your XAML stuff, you don't get a preview window either. And that's, that's also what threw me for a loop because I'm looking for the XAML preview window so I can make all the adjustments on the fly is why I went into it and I didn't quite get that. Um, so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there for you new coders like myself who are trying to learn to code and looking for different ways to do things and why things work one way versus another. Alrighty. Well, have a great day and I'll see you on the flip side.